What's up, Royals? I'm Kai, and I'm still a little bit sick, but I do hope you guys are doing well. I'm feeling a little bit better, and I think some of that is due to the fact that I got another clutch of eggs to cut today, and it is going to be an epic clutch. So stick around. You're watching Lucas Landon Royals. All right, Royals, this is gonna be an epic egg cutting video. I actually did the same pairing two seasons ago. It's an inchy orange shrimp yellow belly pinstripe. So there's four genes with an OD bumblebee. So that's orange shrimp, spider, and pastel. Three genes, so a total of seven genes that we could have uh, in one animal. Like I said, I did this pairing two seasons ago. Got some very, very vibrant and colorful hatchlings, a lot of different variations and combinations. I actually got one that was where it seemed totally patternless, which kind of threw me off for a little bit. Um, I posted pictures of that animal while it's in the egg on my Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram and Facebook, please consider doing so. I post a lot of updates on there as well. Um, a lot of my updates on there happen before the updates are on this channel. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Also ring that notification bell and make sure you set the notification to all so you get to uh, get informed about all of my new uploads. Uh, enough said about that. Anyway, I'm hoping to produce some of the same combinations as I did two seasons ago, as well as produce some new combinations that would maybe help me uh, reevaluate my identification of those hatchlings from two seasons ago, maybe rejigger some things, uh, relabel some of those identifications. Anyway, I'm just hoping to produce some really, really fantastic animals. Enough chit chat, guys. Let me get the camera set up, get the egg box out of the incubator, and let's get to some cutting. Here we go. We are on day 54, 54 and a half, I believe. Um, and you can see they are very much dimpled in. So the straws are there to hold the eggs in place so they don't roll around on me accidentally. Go ahead and toss those into the trash. And then I'll lift the entire clutch out. All right, now we can just pick one and start. Hi there, so this is the future Kai and I am here because YouTube flagged my original version as being inappropriate. They don't actually say which part is inappropriate, so I did my best to do a little guesswork. I believe it might have been because of the over usage of the B word that describes the red fluid that runs through our body. So I edited the video a little bit. I left part of it in there because I was trying to explain what it is and what it's doing there, but I did edit some other parts out. So hopefully the rest of the video doesn't feel disjointed. I mean, you're probably not listening to me talk anyway. You just want to see the animal. Now, before proceeding on to the egg cutting portion of this video, I just need to make a small disclaimer. The eggs that you'll see me cut contain hatchlings that are fully developed or very, very, very close to being fully developed and can breathe on their own. You may see some red veins when I cut open the eggs. Those red veins don't have any nerve endings, so by touching them or nicking them, it doesn't hurt the animal at all. But I do do my best to try to avoid nicking those veins and I'll show you my technique on how I do that. Those veins are there for gas exchange. But since we're cutting open the egg and the animal can breathe on its own, it will have direct access to the air. It won't rely on those veins for much longer anyway, and they'll probably just recede within a couple of hours to a couple of days. So I hope that explains it. I will now return you to the egg cutting portion. Cutting away. Um, so this new cutting technique, I guess I'm calling this, is to first roll it. We want to try to separate the veins and blood vessels, the membrane, from the shell. And hopefully this will work out well. Make a little incision. You can see right there. Right there, a little incision. Then I'll stick one end of the scissor in and ride it along the top of the shell. And make some cuts. And hopefully we don't damage any of the blood vessels. Um, you might see a little bit of red blood in here, but it doesn't hurt the animal. 
And there we go. Look at all the blood vessels are intact. And wow, look at that. Look how deep orange that is. So funny thing is, I've never hit a super orange dream. Just a normal super orange dream with nothing else in it. Really psyched about hitting one of those because sometimes less is more. And when you start adding in fire and pastel, even though they do brighten up the animal, they also kind of blow out that orange color. And I really want to retain that deep orange color. So there's the first one and it is very deep. So I'm hoping that this is a super orange dream. All right, let's move on to number two. Yeah, I do feel a little hatching inside pushing back on me so that's a good sign that they are developed and ready to come out anytime soon oh, this one is a little bit of a gusher and, and again look at that the veins are perfectly intact you don't see any bleeding and wow look at that Look at that. That looks like, I don't know what that looks like, to be honest. Um, definitely pinstripe. I don't think there's spider in here. It's pinstripe. Not as orange as the last one. So maybe Enchi and Orange Dream. But that looks really cool. Look at that. And it's moving. Also a good sign. Move on to egg number three. So yeah, this is a really cool clutch. And you can see already there's a bit of variety in terms of color and pattern. And I know there's spider in this clutch. I know there's some different uh, train of thoughts around the spider, but I love it. I think it's cool. And as long as we don't see it, um, that, that wobbling issue and we breed responsibly, what? Is this another patternless one? Look at that. I mean, I... wow. Wow. So last time we got a patternless one, I kind of pushed the uh, hashling around inside the egg. And eventually I did see a speck of dark pigment. But this one, nothing. No pattern at all. Wow, holy moly. Check that out. So I'm wondering if this has more genes than the so-called patternless from two seasons ago. Look, oh, oh, look at that little tiny bit of pattern right there coming up. Okay, all right. Makes a little bit more sense now. Cool, man. I love this pairing. It's, I wish I can do it every season. In fact, next season, I'm gonna use the same Orange Dream Pastel Spider female and hopefully put it to a uh, Enchi Orange Dream Pinstripe Calico and see what that looks like. And of course I got that patternless one as well from two seasons ago, but I believe it's patternless because there's spider and pinstripe in it. So we don't want to have double dose of spider. And this is a pinstripe. So the color of this one is very similar to that second one that we cut, but the pattern is different. 
you can see that the lines are more connected whereas the other ones is more spaced out but it could also be that we're just looking at a different section um, of course there's variability in the morphs as well so so at least we got two pinstripes which is great because we can double down on pinstripe so pinstripe to pinstripe will just produce more pinstripe and there's no lethal uh, genes involved there sweet all right so we're halfway through guys halfway through this clutch got four more this is number five and I gotta say I really like this technique of uh, rolling so we ignore or uh, not have to cut any of the veins another pinstripe and this one seems to be a little bit different it's got a little bit more dusting but we get a glimpse of that face the side of the face you can see the eye inside and that kind of thick eye band that goes across the eye not the dark one but uh, the light orange eye band so that's really cool huh fantastic all right let's move on Got a bit of a window there. So this one's a bit full. I think they are going to get fuller and fuller. Um, mainly because the egg box as it is right now, this side sits closer to the heat source. That side sits closer to the door. Humidity is going to travel that side. Um, and so more humidity on this side, meaning these don't evaporate as much so they're not going to be as sunken in as the ones you saw me cut earlier so you can see they're gushing out <laughs> but that's all right Ooh, i can see that this one is bright yellow wow and again, all the veins are intact. They came off of the membrane. They are still surrounding the hatchling. But yeah, look at that. That's definitely spider. No pinstripe on this one. I can't wait to see the head stamp on these. Like Orange Dream Fires, Orange Dream Enchi Fires, Super Orange Dream Fire with the, the spider. They always have a really, really cool head stamp. Kind of like elk horns or something or sometimes even like a bunny rabbit give you guys a closer look it's very yellow got a lot of movement in there all right let's keep going and make sure i roll it because once they're full the ones that are full, I mean, are going to be tougher to roll just because there's so much fluid inside. Come on. There we go. Ready for the reveal? Wow. So the pinstripe is really, really strong with this clutch. Uh, this one seems to be not as orange as the other pinstripes, but the pins, the, <laughs> the pins, the stripes are really thin. Curious to see what this one will look like when it comes out. You can see how thin they are. Interesting. Interesting. I would say that this may have Enchi in it. Um, even though Enchi kind of has that uh blows out the pinstripes a little bit you know you get a little bit blushing in between but um just the sheen of it is kind of like reminds me of enchi and pinstripe together so again i'm just curious to see what will come out all, all these morphs and the ids that i'm giving to you guys these are all just guesses 
All right, last and final egg. Man, I wish I could cut these forever. Just like have a whole assembly line of just eggs that I get to keep cutting and cutting and just seeing all the different variations. But this will be the last one. And hopefully we get one that is packed with genes that'll blow your mind and give you headaches trying to identify them. You know what? Nope, I was wrong. But what's good about this is it doesn't have the pinstripe because we got plenty of them earlier. It doesn't have the spider so that I can possibly use this to breed back to another spider if I had to. Or if I should say if I wanted to. But again, look at how orange this is. So I'm wondering if this is another super orange stream. The pattern is kind of wacky. And I'll be honest, um, I know there is yellow belly in the pairing because it comes from the dad. I'll be honest, I don't really, not that I don't see it. Actually, I, I do, that, that is the case. I don't see yellow belly, um, but also it's because it's very difficult to identify, for, for me at least, yellow belly in any of these animals when it's stacked on all of so many other Jeans. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. I don't know what I'm saying. So, uh, I don't have words to describe this clutch. I'm going to let you guys describe what you saw down in the comments section. All right. So, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you want to be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share. Remember, Royals for life. Peace out.